Hey everyone, after two years of owning solar panels, I wanted to look back at my old estimates and my current bills and determine if it really was worth it financially to purchase solar panels. And I figured what better place to do this review than up on my roof with my solar panels. So before I go into the financials, I want to first uh, talk a little bit about how I got started and the installation process. Um, it was about six months after uh, I purchased my house when salesmen started to come by and try to pitch me on the idea of doing solar because you know my house is a perfect candidate um, for solar. And what I mean by that is that you know all houses aren't um, good candidates to have solar because there might be trees or other you know objects that block the sun um, from your house. But um, my house is perfect because as you can see, you know there's no trees anywhere blocking the sun and um, yeah my house is also raised 16 feet off the ground so here's the frontal view of my house from the street and the best part is that you can't see any of those solar panels the third factor was um, you know being environmentally friendly and you know doing my part to I guess you know slow global warming down so if you look at my roof here you'll see that I have you know 28 panels up here on the big roof and then six panels down there on the smaller roof and the number of panels that you have is directly correlated to how much energy you produce for you know a given year so when the solar panel company comes out and does your estimate you typically give them your bills for the year and they see how many you know kilowatt hours your house uses for the year and then what they do is they try to match that an amount with the output that they expect your solar panels to get. So in my case, I was using about 12,000 kilowatt hours um, for the year. So that's the amount of solar that they wanted to generate for my house and how many panels that they gave me. Okay, now let's get into the financial part of it. So this is my contract with the installation company called Trinity Solar. I think they're the biggest in New Jersey, or they were at the time. And this is how much it cost, um, but I financed through this company, Sonova. So I had another signed another contract with Sonova that you're looking at it right here. Um, it was going to be 18 initial monthly payments of $180.77 per month over 25 years. This beginning in month 19 is if an additional payment is not made. So by that initial payment or additional payment, they mean you get a tax credit from the government for 30% of your total cost. So after my first year, I received a check from the IRS for $12,000 that goes to paying this off, which is really nice. So basically that check just goes directly to Sonovo, and it keeps my monthly payment at $180. So you do have to factor that into your cost, and I have that in my spreadsheet. But what's also nice is that they you know, kind of give you an estimate of how many um, kilowatt hours your system's going to produce, and then how many, and then the yearly savings that you're going to have based on your bills. So I also did this estimate, and I'll pull up my spreadsheet now. All right, so here I have my Google Sheet, and on the left-hand side I have my costs, and then column B is where I have my predicted, which I did initially, and now is my actual. So the first cost was just the total system cost of the 4120, um, the 6% interest. There's that 30% tax credit that I talked about. But what really matters is all of the payments that I have to Sonovo. So over the course of 25 years, I'm making 300 payments of 180.77. So what that adds up to is this 54.231. So that's really what I'm paying. And then you add it in here is just that 30% tax credit, which is kind of like free money. So really what I'm paying to Sonovo over the course of the 25 years is this 66,267. So that seems, and it is a lot of money over the course of 25 years. So now let's look at, um, you know, what just 
my bill would have been over that same time period. I calculated that on average, my bill was $150 each month. So 150 times 12 is 1800. So that's currently, I'm not, now I'm not taking into account what's probably going to happen as you know energy costs rise, this will gradually increase as well over time. But I didn't actually take that into account. So if we take that 1800 and we multiply it you know, times 25, we have $45,000. So you know, what you're probably thinking is, well, you know, if you, it really would have only cost you $45,000 um, over the course of 25 years, and you're paying you know, this 66267, or you know, without that tax credit, you're really paying that 54,231, you know, there's about you know, $9,000, so it isn't worth it. And yes, it wouldn't be worth it if it wasn't for these SRECs. And SREC stands for Solar Renewable Energy Certificate. So these Solar Renewable Energy Certificates are basically an incentive for homeowners to you know, have these solar systems. Because for every thousand kilowatt hours that are produced by your solar system, you can get an SREC. And those SRECs can then be sold on an exchange for you know anywhere from $200 to $300 in certain states. Now, why these exist is because certain states require a certain amount of their energy to come from renewable energy sources. And a lot of the states don't produce nearly enough. So what they need to do in order to meet their requirements is buy solar renewable or any kind of renewable energy from people who generate it. So I'll bring up this illustration and says, you know, Sarah has a five kilowatt solar power system. So she'll generate five SREX a year or, you know, one SREX per kilowatt. And then she sells them for $200. So she earns $1,000, you know, selling those five SREX for $200. So she gets that money plus what she saves on her electric bill. So I use this company or this exchange called Flat Exchange in New Jersey. And here you can see the prices that you can sell your SREC um, depending on which year um, or, or month of generation. If we look back at my spreadsheet here, the state of New Jersey, when I um, signed my contract, allowed for 15 years of you know, selling these SREX. Since then, I know it's gone back down to, to 10. I'm pretty sure Murphy made it 10, our governor. And um, yeah, this is the average price that I'm putting in. So uh, I'm generating about 12 and a half SREX per year. So if we take that and we multiply 220 times uh, 12.6, we get $2,770 a, a year. Um, and, you know, that's not factoring if this, you know, keeps going up like um, we saw in this graph here. You see two, 2021 and 2020, I'm getting 223, which is nice. So I just put 220 in there, just kind of an average, um, although it's probably a little bit generous. Hopefully it'll keep going up, but you never know. So the amount of SREX over the lifetime is you know that 15 times that 277 is 41,000. So now if I take that 41,000 and I subtract that 15,000 um, which I calculated before, I'm still getting a, um, a net positive of $26,000. So you know I'm really saving myself $26,000 by going with solar. And, you know, it's, it's all because of these, these SRECs. If, you know, these SRECs, you know, weren't here, it wouldn't even be close to um, be worth it without the SRECs. So it's definitely a huge factor in determining whether solar is worth it for you or not. So that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed and uh, learned something. And if you have a similar experience, please share it in the comments below. Or even if it's something different you want to add, you have a different experience, I'd be very interested in hearing from you. Have a good one.